My video guide will uh, provide you with uh, detailed instructions that will help you to get rid of the ransomware that is called Malox. M A L L O X. Uh, the ransomware is called like that because uh, it encrypts the data that you store on the hard drive of your computer and then um, it uh, adds the special malox extension to the files after they get encrypted. So before the ransomware attack, of course, you can open files, uh, pictures, music, text documents, Microsoft Office documents and other data without any complications. But this is what happens after the ransomware actually infects the system. It starts immediately encrypting the information that you store on the hard drive of your computer. And then um, at the lapse of some time you soon realize that the files have been given this extension and that you can no longer access your files. If you uh, go to the task manager you might find some suspicious processes that might be running in the background and uh, these processes may have some random names or uh, sometimes they have the uh, specific names that make some sense but still they might be related to this Melox ransomware. Typically, according to my personal analysis, the ransomware files have got some random names. Uh, definitely, they become the part of the system due to certain vulnerabilities in the uh, computer security system and uh, sooner or later the um, files on your computer may be infected and you may realize that you cannot access these files anymore. So this is what is currently happening. Uh, the ransomware is uh, encrypting the data and pretty soon you might realize that you cannot get your files. You cannot access them anymore. Uh, the point is that uh, the ransomware tells its victims to pay the special ransom for the file restoration. However, paying the ransom does not guarantee that the victims would get their files back. So this is what happens after the ransomware attack. You can clearly see that you can no longer open the files and this special extension Malox was added to your files. Removing the extension does not decrypt the files and you cannot access them anymore. Uh, on the other hand, paying the ransom is a serious mistake. We strongly advise that you immediately remove this ransomware with the reliable anti-ransomware tool. We suggest you to use Combo Cleaner antivirus for this purpose. You may get its latest version on the page combocleaner.com. After the software is downloaded and installed, start it and begin checking the computer with its help to get your data protected in the future. After you have successfully downloaded and installed Combo Cleaner antivirus, you need to select your preferred scan type. However, the trial version only gives you the quick uh, scan option, even though the premium one has got full scan and custom scan too. Click on the Start Scan button to begin the detailed investigation of your computer. The quick scan will be in progress and uh, it may take a while until the quick scan is uh, completed. While the quick scan is taking place, uh, you may experiment with uh, certain settings of Combo Cleaner antivirus. It has got the powerful anti-ransomware feature. You may select a special folder where you may have all your files stored in a safe place and protect it against uh, all possible ransomware attacks. So you may add this folder and keep your files protected in it. However, this feature again is the part of the premium version only. After the uh, scanning uh, is completed, the program will give you the detailed summary of all threads on your computer and uh, their exact location. 
Some of these threads may be related to your available browsers like Google Chrome or Firefox. Combo Cleaner will help you to fix your browsers. In fact, all the browsers that have troubles can be easily fixed by Combo Cleaner antivirus. And what's more important, Combo Cleaner will help you to detect and delete more serious threats like ransomware and, as I have said, it will help you to protect your data from being damaged and infected in the future. So, enjoy Combo Cleaner, uh, consider uh, upgrading to the premium version of the software to make sure that all your data is in the safe place.